Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. What a pleasure to meet and to see our next guest on her first visit to Vancouver. Absolutely. She is everybody's crush. All-American supermodel Cheryl Teagues is joining us now. Cheryl, how Hi, Cheryl. are how you? How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be in Vancouver. Everybody's nice. Everybody's good looking. <laughs> That's so nice to keep, hear. keep talking, Cheryl. Keep talking. Cheryl, I'm surprised because, of course, being a model and doing what you've done for your entire career, you have traveled all over the world. This is your first time to Vancouver. Right, right. You know, and I have to tell you guys, you have a great reputation. Everybody says you've got to go to Vancouver. It's fantastic. So, so I'm happy to be here. I live in California where we don't have weather, so I'm praying for rain. You Sorry, really, you, guys. you said this to us, and, and the way you <laughs> rationalized your desire for rain, Cheryl, is you said, every morning I look out my window and... I open the blinds and it's bright blue sky and palm trees waving you know, in the breeze. And yeah, that must be horrible. Can I tell you sometimes? <laughs> I feel really sorry. Yeah, that terrible. Sometimes I close the blinds. I'm so <laughs> You're just making me irrationally angry now. Well, I can guarantee one thing for you. By the time you leave Sunday, it will have rain. So you will good. experience it for sure. Uh, but now, welcome. You're in Vancouver for uh, a great event that's all about design and, and living within design and building art around you in your life. Yes. And, uh, you're talking about Cambria Tiles where you're here. Yes, Cambria. my beloved Cambria Tiles. I work with a company and it's, it's uh, their natural quartz. They're made in America and it's a family-based, family-owned company. And uh, so I, I've worked with them for four years. I love it. I have it all over my house. You can spill red wine on it. You can <laughs> check. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that I spill a lot of red wine. Yeah, I do. At least without licking it off. Honestly, up. this stuff is beautiful and it, it feels really durable. Well, and it, it is. Gorgeous. And also, you, it, there's uh, no chemicals to seal it. You just yeah. wipe it off with water. I've got dogs, I've got, you know, kids running around all the time, I've got boyfriends, probably a husband or two. <laughs> <laughs> and they all like to damage they like things tile. like this as they go. Uh, and, and that sustainability aspect has always been, or has become really important to you as well in, well, in all the way you live. Yes, you're right. I, I like things and have always, whether it's clothes or my home environment or whatever, that's practical and yet beautiful. You can't have beautiful without being practical yeah. and vice versa. So um, this, is, this is something that fits right into my lifestyle. And anyway, last night we were at the design center. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the designs are, you've got to go there and see all of these. There are a hundred colors, so whatever you want, there's uh, well, something there Well, that's the nice part is they can sort of do a rainbow, right? Because it goes through a manufacturing process from the court, so you can yeah. add color and yeah. style. And that's what makes it a green product, actually, is that they break it down and then they reconstitute it and, and come out with, with this product. But last night we were there and the girls were, we had a fashion show and the girls were walking around with... Uh, like a paper kind of fabric with a dress that was stamped. I know, don't laugh. That that was stamped. I mean, she would be wearing a dress that looked like. Oh, really? that looked like marble. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, that's, oh, that's really beautiful. cool. You were saying as well that that you actually felt a little bit short, and I won't make you stand up. <laughs> But you make Fiona look short, which is a bit of a feat. But you were amongst these models, and you said they were all taller than you, which I find kind of hard to believe. Right. When I started modeling, I was so tall. I was so tall. I'm almost six feet tall and 5'11 uh, something, and uh, all, all the models were, but last night I felt short. I mean, these girls are getting bigger and taller. <laughs> Not bigger, but taller. Yeah, and sometimes, yeah. you know, the modeling industry is such a funny thing, and sometimes younger. And with your experience with your career in modeling, what is your advice? Because there's so many young girls yeah. out there who look up to you, and what is your advice on the best age to get into modeling and how to go about it properly so that you don't miss out on your education or what have you? Absolutely. I'm so glad you brought that up because there was a beautiful girl last night and her mother said that she was thinking of leaving school and starting modeling and I said, whoa, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Education is so important. I went to college. I, I modeled part-time in high school and then college and then I went to New York. It's so important uh, to continue that. Um, it's a big business. I would say not before 16 and yeah. then even part-time and living at home so that the family can monitor you. Um, <clears throat> it's a big business. Take it seriously. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of discipline. It's huge. A lot well, of work. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. The interesting aspect of, of people entering it young, uh, whereas getting some experience before, is when you start having that success as well, you have to be able to handle success. And a lot of people don't think about that. Well, you have to be able to handle the lack of success. Right. Or you have to be able to handle a lot of personalities. The one thing about modeling is that you're the focus, the center of attention. And 
it, the whole room is looking at you for, for guidance and the power that you, you have for this mm -hmm. product. So you have to be able to handle that. It's not always easy. How did you handle it? Of course, you were a Glamour cover girl when you were how old? 17? Yeah, I started out, yeah, I started with 17 and then Glamour and, and all that. And, and I was. Okay, maybe. Yeah, a little I was, bit of Sports Illustrated. Uh, Mike is oh, very okay. familiar with that magazine. Oh, oh yes, you were <laughs> Tell us about part this of my young photo life. here. This is such a cute picture. It was, it was at the end of the day. It was sunset, and we were going home in the boat. And I was cold, and so she gave me a, a bathing suit that would just kind of keep my my body warm, my arms or whatever. And the photographer said, "I want to take some more pictures. Take your sunglasses off." And I said, "No, I'm tired. I don't want my picture no taken more, anymore." No more. Yeah. And it turned out to be. Is the that all, uh, often the case when it comes? to modeling, it's those shots when you're finally just chilling on your own that it ends up being the shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> no there's Never. a lot of preparation. Tell us about this one. This is amazing. Oh, the Time Magazine. Time Magazine. This is uh, one of the finest uh, um, moments of my life when I, when I was on the cover of Time Magazine. It, it changed my life, actually, because people had seen my face, but they didn't know anything about me. So then there was a cover story, and that's when I kind of stopped modeling and went into designing. Yeah. Well, are there things that, like iconic shots and, and sort of moments that, that you always remember? Because people must ask you all the time, you know, hey, I remember seeing you, blah, 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 blah. So are there <clears> ones <throat> that you, that really stick out for you? Certainly Sports Illustrated. Um, Same here, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've never seen them, but I was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets it for the article. Yeah, no, no, for research for me now. I had an excuse. But, I mean, you said the Time magazine uh, was life-changing, and that's when you got into design. Was that always a plan for you when you were modeling to have a career, or was it something that happened by accident? How did it happen? No, actually, uh, at the time, most models became actresses, and I just thought, I, don't want, I, don't, I didn't want to make that my career, so I, I started in... Uh, designing, I always knew as a model I would just go as far as I could. There was no sort of cap on it, yeah. you know, so I just thought I'll model until I've reached to the top or the pinnacle or as far as I could go and I just felt after Time Magazine it was time to move on. So. And it's interesting that you still maintain this in your life, you know, that idea of design and, and things in your life that that you enjoy and that you like and that you surround yourself with. Right, which is uh, it, which is what is fun for me these days, you know, because it's very creative and to work with Cambria and they come up with all of these great ideas and products and everything, so it's constantly uh, yeah. challenging. So. I've got to get it. me some so I can just go home I and spill dark, red yeah. wine everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> red wine party at my house. <laughs> so Cheryl, I hope you enjoy the rain. It was an absolute pleasure. Yeah, the rain has started. <laughs> Right. And you see Cheryl I told you. running down the street in the rain today. <laughs> thank you so much, Cheryl, for Cheryl, taking the time. You. And you can find out more on the website if you want to find out about the tiles. And also, we wanted to tell you that IDS, the Interior Design Show West, is happening this weekend. Tons of great stuff that yep. you can go look at and experience. Yeah, get inspired to uh, make some beautiful choices in your life. I love it. We're going to take a break. When we come back...